I knew I'd make this at some point, but I've utterly dreaded the thought of making it alone. But I chased my friends off this map in particular like Shrek in his swamp. Which is the correct term my friends would probably use to describe me when playing this game. Welcome to Ark Aberration, a beautiful cave system with the worst backstory, and I do not mean the worst as in it's bad. I mean the worst as in some extremely unfortunate stuff went down here and caused this place to look like a failed geometry exam. The overseer who was once in control of this advanced space station just so happened to be blown to dust by a bunch of Sigma males a super intelligent guy and a redhead in some Iron Man suits who actually cracked the code of the arcs quite easily, and figured out that they couldn't quite leave wherever they were due to scout teams figuring out that the sky was just a gigantic dome keeping them from the outside. So they decided to make this nuke of super advanced origin like typical humans like myself will probably do when we're backed up into a corner and somehow have the knowledge and materials to make a super weapon. Like utter cretins not only did they kill a homo deus controlling the station and a bunch of their soldiers, they also destroyed the artificial ozone layer protecting the Ark from the sun's death rays. Great going idiots. You kill possibly the only thing that can take you somewhere else. You winded up killing some of your guys which could have easily been avoided, and you forced yourselves further inside of where you didn't want to end up because you obviously lack the foresight to know what might happen if you decide to blow up something you don't know much about. Like the geniuses you all are, a gigantic bomb seemed like a good idea of escaping. But don't worry I'll leave the story alone there unless you want a further elaboration of it in a future video. But all you need to know really is that that's where this guy Rockwell experimented on himself with the liquid state of element and turned himself into a living and breathing hentai monster. With all that said, there's many reasons why I love art. Not only is it an amazing game that rewards you for putting in work like no other that has seriously creative and kind-hearted developers, it gives you a chance to share all the good memories you'll have with others in some rather bizarre journeys of uncovering the secrets of the space station your survivor was cloned on that orbits around a dead planet that just so happens to be our self-absorbed ball. Earth. Pretty insane right? The story you leave is just one in a hundred million perspectives of what it was like to have survived in a place where carnivores outnumber the herbivores 10 to 3, and the extremely diverse biomes are all squished together like ugly play-doh monsters that a bunch of goth chicks made in order to make up for losing their boyfriends. From islands unlike anything you've ever seen with beautiful caves, to a space station that is just a gigantic cave. Ark knows how to make beautiful scenery and how to make you hate it, and for the most part it's done extremely well. A good example is Aberration. Where there's beauty, there's an eerie beauty to it, and that's the issue. You never want to stop holding your gun because it just doesn't feel right being there. And good thing that you never stop holding it, because the moment you stop seeing natural light, monsters you've never seen before will attack you from all corners. Giving you more of a reason to hate going there on top of the terrifying nature the biome already possesses. But, while the scenery is all but something to be cocky about exploring, Aberration has unfortunately gotten the lowest end of the stick from Wild Card. I mean, imagine being so neglected that the only reason people play you is just so they can tame some creatures exclusive to the map. Remember to take all of this with a grain of salt though, as my experience with this map has been a rather unpleasant one, and while I'm sure others have had the same experience, other platforms than PlayStation exist, and Wildcard actually gives them more attention, so others experiences with the broken arc could be much better than the blue screen hell that I've had to go through just to steal eggs. Don't get me wrong, I love Aberration, it's an awesome place that I'd love to invest more time in once I'm able to when I get some high school out of the way, but the constant paranoia of disconnects for no reason ruins the experience sometimes. Having to learn how to survive in a massive cave provides a nice change, and the creatures you have to test your might against can really boost your confidence when you actually manage to kill them. Getting rid of all that danger around you just so you can sleep at night. 
I like the difficulty it provides. I just wish it didn't have a seizure every time I tried to glide on my Rath Drake to the point where it kicks me out of the damn game. To which I'd proceed to load back in and get harassed by a Reaper Queen. And while the Rockwell boss fight was a mess of frames and accidents thrown together, I'll admit that even though I failed my first run on Gamma, I'd still love to take a crack at the old geezer again before burning him like my grilled cheese in Gen 2. <laughs>